Hello and welcome to Wizard in the Wild. Uh, I'm Graham, Ellie's in Merlin. Merlin's our eldest CV40 for those of you that are new around here. Ellie's in there loading up the fridge. No beer in the fridge this time because we're actually going to a pub stopover. So they should have some beer. Be a pretty poor pub if they didn't have any beer, wouldn't it? Now we've booked a meal in there as well, so we're going to have a meal tonight. So hopefully we'll get the camera in there with it with us. This is in fact our first away night in Merlin since the event. We're not going to use the uh, A word. That's not that word won't be uttered at all in this vlog. We're trying to move on. We're trying to. Uh, make this the last uh, video that really refers to that in any detail. So we're just about to set off and uh, I think we're going to find somewhere to have a little walk before we uh, before we get to the pub stop over late afternoon and uh, we'll catch you later. Oh there's one other thing that I wanted to say to you before we get rolling. Um, I recently did a technical vlog about uh, my DC to DC and I had a uh, which is a, also a B2B, so it's a battery charger. And I had a few comments from people because I told people it's voice activated and they seem to think that it couldn't be. So I just want to demonstrate that it is. Alexa, turn on DC to DC charger. Graham, I told you before I can't do that for you. Why don't you get Ellie to check that for you? Hey, Ellie. Turn on DC to DC charger. You want me to turn the DC to DC on? Okay, hold on, hold on. Right, that's done. There's also some other commands that I can get it to do. Alexa, is the fridge closed? Why don't you get Ellie to check that for you? <laughs> hey Ellie, can you check the fridge is closed? You want me to check the fridge? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. You see, it does work, perfect. We're heading over the old Seven Crossing Bridge, which, which is the original one. This is on the uh, M48. And we're, we're heading to a little place where we can have a walk along the uh, Seven Estuary just to stretch our legs and to stretch the dog's legs a little bit. It's very nice to be back with you today. It's really foggy today. I don't know if you can see. Well, you can't see much at all, actually. The other bridge is to the right there where Graham is, but you can hardly see it because it's so foggy. So you won't get many decent views out of us today, I don't think. But uh, I'm really looking forward to ce uh, celebrating Graham's birthday meal because it's been delayed because we both had colds last week. So it should be nice to be able to do that today. And we're going to the Plough Inn, which is a pub near Bristol. And I'm really looking forward to it. We've arrived at Seven Beach and are just parking up with Merlin and as you can see Graham's putting on the security, there's the wheel lock and also the seat lock. And outside we've got the alarm and the extra hook locks on the doors. And this is very nice isn't it? Just as you are, tea cottage. Have they ever met me? <laughs> you can see Merlin parked over there and uh, Graham reminded me as we were driving here that uh, this was the first place we ever bought Merlin when we picked him up from the dealer. We came here just to see how he drove and we had a cup of tea I think and then uh, a little walk and then went home again. So it's quite a fitting I think that we should bring him back here today. That's the Prince of Wales Bridge from a view you don't normally see. It's really misty today. Really cold today. Really, really cold. Freezes your hands off when you're filming. 
It's really nice though, there's a nice walk along the estuary, you can, uh, you can walk for miles either way in fact. As you can see the tide's out, very muddy. Can you see the wind turbine in the clouds? steam, whatever it is. Just see it turning. At the moment there's a project going on which is called the Ecology Mitigation and Flood Defence Project. It includes 17 kilometres of coastal defence which will protect up to 2,500 homes and businesses. As well as creating 12,000 new jobs it will also uh, protect and create 80 hectares of wetland habitat. Not due to finish until 2026. Custard donut and a cup of tea. Mm. But the donuts are pretty pathetic, really. Yeah, they're it's not, not much actually very nice. They're, they're, their custard donuts are normally lovely, and they're accidentally vegan, which I like. But um, yeah, don't think you're going to be that excited about it. I'm already not. Not the most exciting donut in the world, but it's got nice with a cup of tea. You reckon? Yeah, they're, yeah, they're all right. Sort of a bit underwhelming, aren't they? Yeah, really? A bit underwhelming. Yeah, they're not horrible. They're just a bit soggy. <laughs> got custard, have you? Mm. Let's have a look. Oh yeah. I don't think I've got any in mine. Look at that. Pathetic excuse for a donut. I've nearly finished it and haven't found any custard yet. I think they forgot mine. You wouldn't want this. Good old nosy round, aren't you? Hmm? Good old nosy round. And there's Maya. And the footwell. You alright, Mrs? You look sleepy. About a minute away from the pub stopover that we're doing, and we've managed to make it in the daylight, which is always a good thing. We're just waiting for a left turn in about 400 feet. We think it just, should just be there on the right. It's called a plough in, isn't it, Gray? So yeah, so left here. And there it is, over the road. So we're putting our security on because we're only going to be in the van for a little while before we go to get something to eat. So Merlin will be left unattended. But what we will do is obviously take all this off before we go to bed, just in case we need to drive off in the night. Takes some thinking about, doesn't it? It does, it does. You can't be in a hurry with this uh, security malarkey, can you? <laughs> you have no. to... It's just too much to keep those eyes open. 
Are you tired, Joe? Oh, yeah. And how about you? Are you tired? Trying hard not to. Oh, I think so. Well, we're all set up at the, uh, the Plough Inn. Uh, we're in their, their car park. It's quite a big car park. So, yeah, it looks nice. We walked in there just now to um, to see what time they've got a table for us to eat in there. Seems very nice. Nice and warm. Yes, log fire. Log fire, yeah. Mm. Doom bar. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll... Uh, be able to film in there. I'm not sure if we will or not really. Probably will. See how we feel. Yeah. So here's the belated birthday boy catching up with jolly old YouTube. <laughs> Got the place to ourselves. Perhaps we smell. Sing happy birthday. No, I don't want you to sing happy birthday, no. This is nice though, isn't it? Yeah. A restaurant that said they didn't have, they didn't have anything vegan on the menu, so they knocked this off for me. It's just because, just because. Look at that. It looks delicious. Yum. What do you reckon then? Well, it looks nice, doesn't it? I believe that's I vegan, that would you? <laughs> Yeah. No, I don't believe it is because it isn't. <laughs> you don't think you can eat it all? No, I don't think I can eat all that. No, I Too think you lots of chips, aren't yeah. they? Big old portion. Look at that. <laughs> but here's mine. And bear in mind, this was a, a restaurant that said they didn't, have, well, they didn't have anything vegan on the menu, so they knocked this up for me. It's just because, just because. Look at that. Looks delicious. Yum yum. You waiting for your chips? Are you waiting for your chips? Yeah, hopefully not too long. Hello, are you waiting for a chip? Waiting for one? You can have a chip. Yeah, you can have chips. Chip chips. Well, I'd highly recommend this place. It cost us £27 for the meal and obviously parking was free. It's with the Brit stops. Very good, the plough in. Test it thoroughly before we use it. So what we're doing now is taking some of the security off the van so we can go to sleep. <laughs> it sounds a bit counterintuitive. But if we need to make a quick getaway. Yeah, exactly. And apologies if I've got hiccups in this vlog. You're getting the whole range this week. Colds, hiccups, <laughs> no expense spared. So, yeah, so um, what, what Graham's going to do is turn the seat around, just the driver's seat, so that in the event of needing to make a quick getaway, we can do so. So from now on, we will always keep this seat clear, ready to drive away. Drive away. Well, here we are. Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah, I feel fine about it all. We had a nice evening, didn't we? We did. Watching scary Netflix stuff. Yeah, all about <laughs> haunted houses and people being attacked. It wasn't probably a very good <laughs> idea, was it really? Winding ourselves up before no. going to bed. But yeah, it was a bit of escapism. <laughs> yeah. So this is us for tonight now. I've had a little nosy round outside. There's just one other van, isn't there, yeah. out there? It's very quiet. Um, yeah, there's not much to say really. The car park's clear apart from that, isn't it? Yeah. Seems okay. So we're just going to hope that we have a good night. Oh, I've got my big cosh, uh, sorry, torch over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> torch. It's a yeah. torch. And I've got my phone up at the bed bedroom end as well, just in case we should need it. And. Um, Yes, well, you'll have seen earlier how the other things we've done to the van to make it ready to 
to go away and that's a good start we, we are going to put some other things in place as well but bit by bit we'll get there with it so let's hope we have a good night and uh live to tell you the tale in the morning <laughs> night 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 so as you can see or rather not see it's very dark turn the lights off now as we try to go to sleep and yeah very dark We survived. <laughs> we survived the night. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you'll be pleased to know we survived the night in Merlin. There were no knocks, bangs, or other kinds of noises, were there? No, it was very peaceful, actually, wasn't it? It was incredibly peaceful. We were expecting in a crowded uh, pub car park that it would be a late night with lots of people leaving, but. They all went home quite early, didn't they, in the end? I think the pub closes quite early weekdays. Yeah, because of the cost of keeping it warm, you know, like everyone's struggling with energy. Anyway, when we went to bed, there was just us and another camper, and it was really, really quiet, apart from the odd train going by, because it's near a station or a railway line. Um, yeah, it was really, really peaceful. We did worry a bit, didn't we, when we were trying to go to sleep? I know I did. Um, very, very aware. Whereas normally we just think, all oh, right, bed, asleep. But uh, yeah, it was, it was good. Well, this was us last night. They've got a marquee there. I think they do weddings in there. So in the warmer months, you're allowed to park in here as well, in this field, but they shut this during the winter. But um, Graham's seen pictures of caravans and motorhomes and whatnot in here. It's a lovely place though. And on a grey foggy day like today, we get the place to ourselves to walk the dogs. Perfect. Not much walking going on though, a lot of standing and sniffing. The pub actually do breakfast as well. Full English breakfast, nine pounds. Sort of slightly tempted, but still full up from last night. And this is a bit bonkers. It's the 1st of December. And just look at these blossoms. Well, we're nearly home we after our little pub stop stopover. We just really want to conclude the vlog by letting you know how we feel overall. Um, we think it went well, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was very good. It was. It took me a long time. Very comfortable. Yeah, the bed's so comfy in Berlin. That does <laughs> help, doesn't it, really? And it was also reassuring to see that the pub had CCTV, so that added to our level of feeling safe in, in that environment, didn't it? Um, it took me long, quite a long time to fall asleep. I did feel anxious, I'll be honest with you. I suppose that's quite natural though, because every bone in your body is saying, ooh, last time you were here, this is what happened. And I think your body tries to protect itself. But actually, um, I did manage to get a, a grip of that anxiety and just see it for what it was and realise that I was snuggled up safe in bed. And, you know, it 
know, it was quite okay to feel a bit worried about it. It's quite natural after something like this. Yeah, I didn't sleep particularly well, but that's mainly oh. because of my cold that I've got. Yeah. something else um, yes. we've got a trip coming up down to Surrey soon so yeah. we'll have to arrange something for that yeah what, what we don't know is whether uh, we'll sleep on a friend's drive which would be another step in the right direction because they don't have CCTV um, or whether we would actually sleep in a lay-by that's quite tucked away in the middle of nowhere if you know what I mean where we usually sleep when we see Graham's brother but the trip hasn't been planned or booked yet, so we'll, we'll just have to see, won't we, what actually happens next about that. But obviously we will take you with us and bring you along with how we're feeling about it all and how we are putting things in place to keep ourselves feeling safer. So I think that's about it for this one. Yes, so thanks for watching. Yeah, and sticking with us. Uh, We'll if you want to join our Facebook group, just go yeah. on Facebook and search for Wizard in the Wild mm. and click join. Yeah, and if you haven't subscribed, that would be amazing too if you felt you wanted to know more about our adventures. I mean, we've got a catalogue of how many vlogs have we made? Yeah. 145, 150, something like yeah. that. Yeah, so if you're ever getting bored on these long, cold winter nights, <laughs> or if you're somewhere else in the world, if it's just too hot to do anything other than just watch YouTube, <laughs> please do think about liking and subscribing because it really helps us to grow the channel and until we're with you again stay safe take care bye, bye.